All right, hello everybody. I am joined by Prince of Kabul, aka Prinz. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Prinz. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Finland. And I'm currently in top eight in and. WC tournament. Yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> but before we get it, I'm going to ask you lots of questions about the tournament. But first, I want to know a bit about you as a player. Can you tell us what you're sort of up to in life at the moment? Mm, I'm currently, this summer, I'm selling actually security systems in sector alarm. And normally, I'm studying uh, at business, mm. business and economics at Hamelina University. Can you tell us uh, a bit about your Age of Empires history? I think the franchise is really important to you know, us, the viewers. How did you discover Age of Empires? And why in particular did you play Age of Empires 3 for so long? I discovered it. My friend was playing the game and I tried it. I liked it. So my mom, mom actually bought it for me then. And then I just kept playing because it was a fun game, I guess. Right. That friend wasn't. Sample Kung Fu. No, no, he wasn't Sample. <laughs> how did, we need to talk about him. How did you, how did you meet him? Just um, one of my oldest friend, uh, friends. Uh, but through the game or? No, in, in just Oh, really? Real, I thought real you life. would have met him online. No, no, no. Just like good friend of mine from back okay. of the years. Do you think he would have made it to the LAN had he signed up? I know he's got mm. an exam on the final day mm. of, of the tournament, on the grand finals. Oh, Sample? Yeah. Yeah, definitely with some kind of training. He could have made it just like I did, so there is nothing which could have held him back mm. in that regard. Okay, let's talk about, you know, you've played Age of Empires 3 for a long time. Yes. In those years, what civs have you played around with? What are your favourites and perhaps your least favourite as well? Well, I have played every civ, obviously. Mm. I have been playing for 11 years now, so for uh, my favourite civ, I think I will go with India. And least favorite is Portuguese. But Portuguese? Yes, Portuguese. Oh, okay. Why, why don't you like the Portuguese? Is there... I, it's, it feels autopilot sieve mm. that you don't need to do anything specific with them except spam TCs and villagers <laughs> in order to win the game. Right, right. And the camping style with three TCs and CM is just kind of boring for me. Right, the big Minutemen pops. And yes, uh, yeah, that kind and Mamelukes. Right. <laughs> don't, don't like them. <laughs> okay. Well, then, what would you do if you could make one balance change or go back in time and tell the developers to, you know, build a sieve differently mm. or do something differently? Mm. What would you do? I would remove water from the game entirely <laughs> and maybe Portuguese <laughs> along with them. <laughs> right. Okay. No water. No water. <laughs> right. No water. You don't like playing against water? No. Okay. Uh, that's funny, actually. Mm. That's really... <laughs> Would you replace water with something else? Space travel? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just, just land. Okay. So you think a good RTS game can, you know, not have water in it? It can have water, but it has to be better designed. If it had water, what would you do? If it had to? Mm, the worship function would have to be different how they work currently. So, I don't like that you can reverse the warships like back right. and forth. It, it's not really something I like. Okay. And. In any, any, anyhow, I don't like how they function in other Age of Empires. They have been more microable, mm. but in Age of Empires 3, it's just uh, awkward. That's interesting that you say that because uh, I've spoken to a lot of people and they seem to think that uh, Age of Empires 3 does water quite well because it's this thing that you don't have to take. Mm -hmm. Unlike Age of Mythology, Age of Empires 2, mm -hmm. you, you have to go water. In Age 3, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need to, even on mm -hmm you know, the ESOC patch where boats mm. are cheaper. Um, do you have any comments? Yeah, you say that until your factories get monitored. <laughs> okay. Prince, let's talk about the tournament. When this was announced on the, on the forums, when you saw it, when you signed up, what was going through your mind? I was mind blown. I, I couldn't have hoped for such opportunity to go and meet everyone who I have played for many years and mm. uh, actually compete with them in land tournaments. So it was very, very nice. Yeah. And I thought like this is if if I have to su uh, make success in one tournament, it it has to be this one. And how does it feel to be playing in a land? Did you expect to make it to the top eight when you signed mm, up? Not really, not really, because I've had very poor tournament success um, in previous tournaments. 
if it has to be seeding or other factors, I never had uh, good success there. Right. But now I somehow pulled it through. I think you came second once in a in a tournament. Yes. And you're yet to win one. You've had a few, you know, sort of. Uh, you're no stranger to the late stages of the tournaments. But uh, is this the one? Do you think you can win this one? Um, that's hard to say. Um, there, are, there are seven other very good players, but I think I have a shot like anyone else. Okay, but there is no single dominant player here. Everyone is approximately in the same level. That's compared interesting to each other. That, that you say that. I, one of my other questions was to ask you if you could predict the finals, what two players <coughs> would you put in? in there? Who well, do you think you're the strongest and who are you afraid of most in your bracket? Well, me, I will go to finals of course <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then uh, I would have to say Eric. Eric and he's my Which biggest. Eric? <laughs> There's two. Tabin is Eric and uh, uh, König Eric okay, right, from right. Germany. He's okay. my biggest opponent. You're going to be representing your clan, the SKG. Yes. You've made it to the LAN. Yes. How do you feel about that? Feels great. Finally, I'm able to put SKG on the map of <laughs> Age of Empires 3. I mean, Hazza's here too. Yes, but Hazza, Hazza is not the co-founding member. It was actually me and Sampukunku who made the clan and everyone else just came along like Hazza and okay. Sam, Sam Weiss. And, and with that in mind, what is the strategy for this tournament then? Just Sepoy or maybe <laughs> Sepoy and Yorimi? Well, like once great old Age of Empires 8, I'm the king of musketeer type stuff, <laughs> so I think it's this tournament I will make many musketeers <laughs> and prove that I'm still the king of musketeers. King of musketeers. Thank you for your thoughts, Prince. Good luck in the tournament. Thank you.